Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 277. It's the end of February for all intents and purposes, and we're going to talk about what the end of February means. Uh, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here right now. I forgot to send out the meeting, but we have tons of people in chat, and I love it. Great to have you all here. Uh, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the Wix Five release plan um because that's what we do and then we'll do some triage and then we'll do questions and comments um i don't think this meeting is going to take very long so let's go ahead and get into it uh we're not going to hit today for rc1 i'm sorry i've been working very hard um and i am learning more and more about the depths of changes to burn wix 4 that have surprised me in a number of cases and have made things more complicated and challenging than expected in Lots of different ways. So the out of proc burn thing is our Bouchard applications is still very important. The more I get into it, the more I'm confident it's the right thing to do. Um, but clearly it was way more work than I in my initial scan of it said it would be, which is all on me. So I am doing everything I can to get this done. Um, you know, when is the next date that we will ship it? At this point, it's kind of a day for day slip. I can see the things to finish. Um, and then I'm working through all the unit tests. So on the on the flip side, on the upside, not the flip side, on the upside of all this is that the integration tests are actually quite good. Um, and they've been finding all the things that I would expect them to find, including some things that I didn't expect them to find. And as I get more and more through all the integration tests, that's been wonderful, which gives me a very high confidence in all the changes um, being pretty good. Uh, when they're done due to the integration testing. Plus one for testing, nobody's surprised. It's a good thing to have tests. So uh, that was a fantastic effort done in Wix 4 to have lots of tests. Um, so the net of that is as soon as all the tests pass uh, and you know with confidence, then I think we'll just release it. And that could be like any day now. It's just knocking down a couple few more things and I still continue to find some things under the floorboards that surprise me um, that have to get worked around but it's very 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 close so I don't want to like put a big date on it like oh we're going to slip for two weeks I really want to slip like two more days maybe three I, it's just I'm just trying to get it done so the goal is to have RC1 done here as quickly as possible it's very 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 close but it is not today um, we'll get it out Bob has proposed uh, putting in another RC in between. I don't know if anybody has any thoughts about that, just to get another bug fix round in there. Um, I have to admit, if we didn't have all the testing, I'd be like much, much more worried. The whole schedule would be like falling apart and everything. But because of the testing um, being really uh, solid, my confidence is still pretty high. Um, so we'll get this out and then <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if, I guess we'll get this out. We'll see what kind of, uh, incoming we have, and maybe we'll do a, another release in like two weeks if we find a lot of bugs that we need to fix. Um, either way, it's going to validate whether my, my feeling is correct that the testing is finding most of the bugs and we're actually going to be pretty good, um, going through here. So, um, I am, I am, the more and more I get into this, the more and more I am confident that this is the right thing to do. The only thing that's not great is the timing. Worst comes to worst, we just blow the whole schedule up. We slip everything and we do that. But, uh, so far I still feel like uh, the deadlines are holding us to getting it done. I think that's probably the way to say it. Did I leave anything out, Bob? Uh, no, no. Although I would point out that, you know, you are still labeling RC1 in February. So well, it could like be in two confidence. days. Yeah. I like like confidence. I, I, yeah. I, I have, I have to, it's been very challenging. This has been far more challenging than I anticipated. I did not look in these other areas when doing my analysis and lots of things have come to surprise me. Yeah. That's basically yeah. what's happened here. But I do agree very much that the, the tests we have both, unit level tests and the runtime tests are uh, work really well to validate what we did in Wix 5. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the unit tests cover a lot of my simplification stuff, 
Yeah. And the you know, because I've been working on releasing as some of the the bigger bits of functionality that were added are covered with the the runtime tests. So yeah, yep. If we didn't have those things, I'd be much more worried. Yep. Yep. Agreed. All right. So that's where we're at. RC1 will show up and then we will, you know, send it out to as many different places as we can as soon as it comes out. Um, and given that we probably have a meeting in two weeks, uh, we will definitely be talking about it there. And if we're doing another release and those kinds of things. So uh, that's the current state of it. It's basically, yeah, this is everything I'm doing right now, trying to get all of these things sorted out and burn uh, from burn before and just organized in, in Wix 5 working well. So that's Wix 5. If you have questions, comments, uh, you can start typing them in the box. I think we're going to go do triage because there's not a lot to triage. And then we'll talk about anything that people want to talk about. If you're like, yeah, this is fine, then that's fine. You don't have to say anything. Uh, but if you have questions, let's go do triage and then come back and start hitting some of those questions. So, Bob, you ready? Triage? I am ready. Let's do it. All right. Triage. Push that button. There we go. Yes, we have a couple issues. Um... Page not found, V3404118. Downloads. Yeah, this is gone. Okay, I don't know why he's confused. It's an ancient build. It, of it's an ancient and it's a dev build, which means they there's like a little disclaimer that says these can go away at any time. Right. Um, and yeah, so 314 is security fix. I'm confused. Don't be confused. You found it. All right. Yep. Yeah. Gone. I'll take care of that. Great. I, I don't I don't know what they want us to say. Seven nine nine seven. Wix five should reject Wix four extension NuGet packages. Interesting. Oh, so a more aggressive message than it just doesn't do anything. Well, my concern is that it would blow up. This this ties in with oh. the seven seven oh nine. I see. That okay. I also yes. opened and then forgot about. Um, and I opened this one because I knew that we talked about, you know, because we have right now the uh, a Wix extension NuGet package has a Wix X4 directory. Yep. And we talked about updating that because the assemblies, um, you know, are no longer compatible. Yep. Right. We made we made breaking changes in the extensibility yep. assemblies. Yep. So I went to make that change, and then I'm like, oh, this actually. Well, first of all, there's a test that was completely broken because. It you know, was assuming that we had Wix for uh, NuGet packages out right. there. Okay. Um, and, the, and then I'm like, uh, yeah, Wix 5 shouldn't take them at all because if they rely on extensibility, they're going to break. So it, it seems to me that's the, the right approach. And that's the approach I took in that pull request. But we can discuss that. Yeah, so Wix 5 should use the Wix X5 directory and everything should just work. I, and I guess the we could add a better error message in 5 if you get a NuGet that has no Wix 5 extension directory in it. Like, is that that's what I did. Yeah, okay. So what more do we need? I, I guess that's the part I'm missing. I open the issue for this discussion. And, and to see if you agree with what I did to block the V4 NuGet packages. Oh, I see. See, the sequence of events is, months ago, Bob opens an issue that says, look at error messages. Then last week, Bob says, oh, I'll go do that. Rename, that'll be simple, right? And it was. Um, and then it led me down this path, and I'm like, uh, oh, Oh, this is ugly. I don't know what to do here. Um, but it, again, it just a Wix for an extension built against a Wix for extensibility assemblies will not work in Wix five. Right. So we should not look in the Wix X four directory at all in Wix five. Right. Yes. Definitely. And therefore, if we're in Wix five, if you get a, a NuGet package that does not have a Wix X five, I think we should bail. Yeah, we should fail with ideally a nice error message, I guess. Or just saying it, this is not a Wix five extension. Like, yeah. that's the error message, right? This is. Well, I. Yep. That was that was my goal. Yeah, I think agreed. That's what I did. Okay. So. Yes, that I agree with. It's like okay, we looked. Uh, 
this is not a Wix 5 extension. And right. the user will be like, oh, I guess I have to go find a Wix 5 one. And that'll be yeah. that. So, okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what else we would do. So I was like going, is there something deeper here that I'm missing? <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. It was just, we hadn't clearly spelled out uh, yeah. the idea of rejection. Now, you know, a problem is that Wix 4, of course, we can't go back and magically fix. Yeah, unless um, unless it turns out to be a problem, then we'll, we'll fix it. Yeah, I don't think it's yeah. going to be a big deal. So I think the major number numbers, the major number numbers, wow, the major version numbers are going to be, a, like, I think people will get it. Like, oh, I would use Wix 5, and oh, it's V4. Oh, okay, fine. But, well, Wix 5 will give an error message. Wix 4 will not. It will just right. show up as a damaged right. package. Where a warning makes more sense. Uh, I mean, you add an extension. I mean, that's another. Zach's got an interesting point. We can make it a warning instead of an error base to say, hey, you add this extension. It doesn't have anything for Wix 4. Have a nice day. Well, you know what? I love that idea because it's a warning now. Oh, okay. <laughs> then, 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 yeah, it's like, hey, you did this thing. Everything's fine, but it doesn't do anything. Have a nice day. And that's nicer than saying nothing. Um, yeah, I thought so. And it's probably nicer than doing an error because it's like, yeah, you did this. It didn't do anything. They're like, oh, 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 right, right, right. I got the wrong one. And then they'll fix a version number. At least that's, hopefully it should be that simple. Oh, right. I didn't get the V5 one. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Any concerns about a four trying to import a Wix five pack? Well, that's what seven and seven oh nine was all about, and to make sure that it doesn't work and it it won't crash. What's do you know what the V four behavior is right now, Bob? Does it just do nothing? Well, or, without this change, it, which includes the Wix X four to Wix X five rename, if, if we kept Wix five NuGet packages using Wix X four, then no, no, we have to change it, that. Yeah, okay. right. But if we didn't, then it would Wix four would try to load the extension, which depending on the extensibility points that a particular extension uses, would either work or crash. Right, right. No, no, no. So that's that's why Wix X five is a thing. I, I have an issue on this as well. That that is out there too. So there's another one related to this that basically says seven seven oh nine or. Another is it one. 7709. Is that assigned to me? I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one. I opened it and you. Yes. 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 I, and like yes. I said, I, did I not saw like your name all over it, but I didn't look over here who's assigned to it. Yes. This is it. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And that's why we're going to Wix X5 to handle the case that Jacob just brought. Uh, right. Now, Wix4, how good an error message will Wix4 have? Uh, we probably could have done a better job on Wix4. We'll see how bad it is. As I recall, it will not have an error message. It'll just do you. nothing. It'll yeah, it'll show up as damaged, quote unquote. Right. So I mean, at least there's that. And yeah. And it gets better in Wix five. So upgrade to Wix five and you get a better error message. Actually it'll yeah. start working. And then I mean Wix six comes out, you'll get a better message. Anyway, yes. Should have got that right in Wix four, but uh four compatibility is challenging. Yeah. Which is part of the problems I've been dealing with in Burn. Anyway. Um eight zero zero five. Null exception. When oh decompiling, yep. Um, yeah, table. I looked at this. Interesting. The error table message can be null, is oh. nullable. So. Okay, then um, this should probably handle that, right? Yeah, cool. I'll fake it. Oh, you're gonna fix it? All right, sure. Woohoo! All right, 8007 HKMU registry not removed after parallel per user per machine install. Ooh, HKMU. Yeah, I looked at this one too. Left a comment. It is interesting. MSI lets you have the same component in two different packages all at the same time, ideally in the same location. For a file, you can actually have them installed in different locations. In different folders, yes. They and MSI will go, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's weird, but okay, sure. Yeah, well, yeah, because it's a reality. They had to solve it. Right. They, however, did not try to solve the problem of having uh, registry key paths in 
different locations. In this case, the key paths are HKLM something something versus HKCU something something. In other words, the H HKMU is resolved at install time and it kind of loses the identity of HKMU. So those packages show up with components installed in different paths. And the, 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 the workaround that MSI does for files, it does not do for registry. Yep. Key paths. Yep. So well, essentially you're breaking the component rules. Yeah, this is this is pretty Pretty standard. If you switch contexts between your installs and you have an HKMU key, you're going to get split, and only one of them is going to be correct. Yeah, this is this is this is Component Rules 101. This is a perfect example of the violation I laid out in that ancient blog entry that talks about Component Rules and how they. Count oh yeah, them. I'll I'll go look that one up and add it. Yeah, I mean, this is the quintessential example. The tricky part about it is that you're like, well, I installed per user, then I installed per machine, and it didn't do the right thing. And I'm like, yeah, it'd be nice if the Windows installer was smarter on that. Yeah, I think that's it. It's just MSI took care of that case for files because, again, they had to, um, but they didn't have to for registry value. And again, it's it's really it's it's HKMU sounds really neat, but again, the it's resolved at install time. Yeah, so, well, it's you're not intended to install both a per user and a per machine. They didn't intend also, it to be installed per user yeah. and per machine at the same time. It's like that was weird. Yeah. yeah, like they they didn't get that right. But yep. yep. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, go file spell against Windows installer. I'm sure they'll jump right on it. Absolutely. Yeah, you basically have to manage the two components yourself. If you're going to get in a situation where you're going to be able to install your package per user per machine, you have to condition the components mutually exclusive. And do it yourself without using HKMU. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yep. Yeah, interesting. We component rules suck. In case anybody wondered, they're they're like the number one thing I just wish the Windows Installer team would fix. They're not going to, but that's what I wish. All right. Triage is pretty easy. We will go back and question comments, things people want to ask about that aren't Wix 5 um, and Wix 4 coexistence of extensions because we got good suggestions there. A warning on that. All right. Anything else going on out there? Um, it's all just <laughs> trying to improve some decisions we made in Wix 4 burn to make it work better. And the world is conspiring against me to make that happen. So, all right, get a little more. All right, so I think we'll be back in two weeks. That seems reasonable, doesn't it? Get on our normal schedule here. Um, the 12th of March, does that sound right? Come on back to 9.30, 12th of March. I'm not getting a lot of, yep, it's like, yeah, all right. That's the thing. I'm just kind of killing times here. Make sure people have questions, any questions, other things going on. Uh, so that's, that's it. That's the thing. Uh, just day-to-day -day slip right now on Wix 5, trying to um, finish it off so that we can get it out there and be, I want to get Bob's stuff out there and I want to get burned into this better space than it is in Wix 4. That's what I want to do. Yeah, I'm 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 really excited about the potential for the burns. I mean, I really like the stuff I did, of course, but <laughs> the uh, the idea of burn, of Bootstrap for applications being out of process means we're no longer it's no longer just C plus plus and C sharp. I mean, I have actually seen a boost a BA written in Visual Basic. Oh, but yeah, okay, CLI. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But but that was it, you know. Otherwise, any other language out there. You know, required interop at the C plus plus layer, and that's tougher um, yeah. Yeah. than than it should be. But out of proc, there's there's no you know you have to be a Windows capable language. But other than that, really opens it up. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be back in two weeks. RC one better be out by then. If it's not, I am, I'm I'm dead. I think. Um, <laughs> 
because that's all I'm doing right now is trying to get RC1, the stuff done. Um, dig myself out of the hole I dug myself into, um, literally. <laughs> so I keep telling Bob, the only way is through right now. Uh, that's it. We'll be back in two weeks, uh, and we'll talk about, hopefully we'll be talking about how RC1 is looking, what people are doing, and what they're thinking, and uh, what they think about it. So I guess until then, all you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.